What's up, tellers? Azure Antoinette here. Hi. Uh, it is Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. It's 2.36 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I texted, text, texted, I can speak. I texted Liz. Uh, and it's like, yo, we should, we should just laugh on the live and see what happens. And then she texted me back and said that, uh, she was really sweaty, but she wanted to do a drive-by. And in these times, that basically just means going live and not telling anyone that you were gonna go live. And um, so that's where we are. Uh, so, as you know, um, she has some trouble getting on successfully. Hi, y'all. Oh, there's only one person watching. How sad is this? This is the saddest live that we've ever had. I don't even understand how this works. I'm just waiting for, I'm waiting for LG to pop up here. How's everybody doing? Um, <clears throat> it's been a week. Uh, but you know, we're, we're doing this stuff. So we're, you know, we're, uh, we're hanging in there. I hope you're hanging in there. Uh, I'm in Southern California. It's very hot here, very, very hot. Uh, but no complaints, Anything for the most part. It's good to see y'all popping on. I don't know where she is, but she'll be here. She'll get here. Uh, what's happening on my side of the world? Uh, we are still, we are having the uh, story lab worked on. You know, we are wanting to observe uh, the advice from the local governments and uh, make sure that we are taking the proper precautions to keep everybody safe and hopefully um, help restore you know some of the things that, that I know we all miss but in order to do that we have to make some sacrifices so we are doing our best to um, traverse those spaces uh, pivot and pause should be ready to ship out here really really soon thank you for um, continuing to hit us up about it and being excited we're excited to to get the book in our hands, get the book in your hands. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It will be a beautiful thing that we've all accomplished together, which will be amazing. Um, let's see, let's see if we can uh, find her. I'll be right back, y'all. You know I'll come back. Liz, she might not come back, but you know I'll come back, I'll be right back. Uh, good to see you too, Jamie. What's up, Lucy? Um, we're just waiting on Liz Gilbert. <laughs> She's uh, probably in another chat room on AOL, because that's where Liz, Liz goes sometimes. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, Los Angeles is LA, uh, you know, pretty standard. It's all pretty good. We are, my sister and I are looking after my mom. Uh, mom has stage six Alzheimer's, so keep her in your thoughts, keep her in your prayers. Um, she's a G, but moms are, moms are moms, and our particular mother is an entire weather system. I just, I just can't be sure. So, what's that sound? Am I hovering? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the air conditioner. Didi, will you turn up the air conditioner? Oh, what is it? Somebody asked me if I was hovering. No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm too tired to hover. It's too hot. Okay. Oh, there's Liz Gilbert. The view. Oh, no. You're not. Don't be sorry. You're good. How does that sound now? Tell me, does it still? Hey! <laughs> is this the easiest time we've ever had getting connected? I just told the whole group that you were probably in an AOL chat room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you were, you were in a yeah. Yahoo group. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I met the nicest guy there. His name, his name is Coors, 1973. Oh, And I cool. think we're just going to really... i got to figure out my whole system here. This is so spontaneous. I just got a text from her going, we're on! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. You, you like said... a roller coaster ride. You said, yeah, it's, sim it's very similar, but different. All right, here we go. Hi! I'm Hi, buddy. Stabilize. I don't want you guys to think I'm on a, a rocking ship. I like your hair. Thanks, I just got it straightened. Wow, it looks amazing. Well, it, <laughs> might, for, it might just for today. I won't yeah, be able to maintain it, um, but. 
I, you know what? I have that cup. You do? Hold on. Does, do you know who else had this cup? Where'd she go? <laughs> I know. Don't get sad. I didn't leave you at the grocery store. I promise, Liz. I know that you have trouble. <laughs> Oh, look at that. These are the best. They come from Mexico. Mexico. They're the best. I know. And they're heavy and they're satisfying. And they were like and, a dollar and, they have, and eight cents. They're uh, literally a dollar and eight cents each. Um, mm -hmm. So, hi, my friend. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You, hang on. Let me spit out my gum. Sure. I'm, I'm just getting myself organized here. Yeah, that's fair. Didi, come say what's up. All right, I'm fully. I was, I'm fully I was trying to get my sister now. to come say hi to you guys, but she, uh, oh, she won't. She doesn't. She won't. Like if you, were, if you were, if you were on fire. We cups. Oh, I Mexico. got mine on eBay. I got mine in Mexico. <laughs> I got mine on eBay. <laughs> like, so uh, eBay or Mexico. Just eBay or Mexico. eBay is the Mexico of the internet. Oh. <laughs> We can't go two minutes without you saying something potentially flagrant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because all then all the tellers do. I love Mexico. Do, it's a good they, thing. They'll just be like, and that's when Liz told us that eBay is better than Mexico. And I'll be like, no, I didn't. She didn't say didn't that. Say oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I meant by that that it's vast. Yeah. That it has many cultures within it. It's all right. That it's, um, that it's our neighbor. <laughs> that it, eBay is our beloved neighbor. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> hey, I, by the way, I like your hat. Thank you. Um, I noticed my, it before when you sent me that little video. My Thank hair you. underneath it is a little bit unruly, so I just thought let's skip that part. You yeah. know, uh, and put the hat on it. Yeah. My sister said, "You look crazy because I am in this floral shirt with green sandals on, these glasses, and this hat." And she's like, "So you just decided to wear everything?" And I was like, "I did, and I can't." <laughs> Do you, know what, do you know what you look like? Tell me. And I say this with the greatest, greatest love. <laughs> I'm you not look ready. like a six-year-old girl who got to dress herself. <laughs> Whose Liz mom said, was like, Liz said, you can wear whatever you want. I look like a six-year-old child who was given permission to dress herself. <laughs> what do you think, tellers? This is swag. This right here, couture. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Let it wash over you. Let it happen. Shh, that's enough. Pipe down. A couture? Oh, my sister, it's not couture. It's azure. That's right. That's right. Damn it. Uh, no, couture, azure. Hey, first of all, she doesn't, she's not allowed to, to be putting comments in unless she's willing to show her face. So I let's told just make her. that a rule right now. Yeah. Liz Gilbert said you're not allowed to come over there and be over there making comments if you're not going to come say hi. Item one. Item two, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure I believe that you have a sister. <laughs> over here she said you don't have a sister so now everybody thinks i'm it's talking so to myself it's so sad you guys no it's so sad is your she's so lonely she invented a sister for herself and she's not funny you guys off camera i don't talk to my sister off camera I, that's not funny <laughs> liz is just you know what liz that's all right everyone sister <gasps> hi, hi. okay hi and oh my god i love you hello she loves you hello that's all she wrote. yeah that's it. And she's out and that'll do it ladies and gentlemen um Oh, uh, Jamie said out. Bought to you by gay mail. Yes, that's right. Gmail. That's right. <laughs> you heard you it from gay mail. You heard it from Liz Gilbert. Gmail just stands for gay mail. God. <laughs> yeah. Our, our, our chats are, they get, they get deep. So our <laughs> thought y'all was to just come on and say, Hey, because people, uh, they're going through it right now. I think that I heard from so many different spaces, whether it was online or, or people I personally know that are just really in a tough season in their life. And I don't know how that all kind of uh, capitulated to decide that that was going to be Monday, but it was definitely a Monday of Mondays. Like it's been, uh, it's been, it's been tough. Um, mm. So I, I, I loved what you, what you put up Liz about just doing a different thing, you know, wanting to do something else. And so you went and you did something else and you, you, you just, you chucked all the regular stuff and you were like, this is what I'm going to go do today. And, and it's important. It's important that we take care of ourselves however we know how. Um, and I don't think there's any real right way to do it right now. We're just, we're in a, we're in a really, really interesting season. So you got to be kind. You got to just, you got to be easy. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, somebody said going through divorce pandemic and move from the East to West coast. Oh, honey. Yeah, that's heavy. Ooh. Oh, I just want to tell you to circle a date on your calendar from two years two years from now and be like 
it's going to be so fucking much better. <laughs> and you're going to be like, God, remember when I circled this date two years mm -hmm. ago and it was such a flaming garbage can. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now like I've settled in this new place and I've got these new friends and loved ones and God, I got through it. It's so much better. What was I'd... your most garbage can, flaming garbage can year? Oh, of your life. I, you know, hi, Megan. It's a little bit of a toss up. 2015, uh, 20, my sister snarkily laughed over there. I was tough. We, we almost didn't, we almost weren't here. So mm. 2015 was, was pretty trash ass. And then, uh, a, it, like a follow up, like a junior shit storm after that was, uh, 2018, uh, which, lovingly carried itself into 2019 <clears throat> and uh so there <laughs> seems to be seems to be bleeding a little bit into 2020 <laughs> we have some suture issues you know we have a, some you know, <laughs> some small you know when we transition we don't we don't always leave it all sometimes we just we pack a little and bring it with us so that we can further incinerate I hate ourselves a year that won't just stay in its boundary and be like all right i'm done 2020 now, is so drunk. It's so <laughs> drunk. The control alt delete. I mean, I started the year off getting hit by a car, Liz. You feel me? Like a car hit my that. whole body. You know what and I mean? And you texted me like, I feel like you texted me like 10 minutes after that happened. And you were like, wow, the coolest thing just happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what she said, you guys. Yeah, you did. You were like the wildest Prove thing it. just happened. Prove it. I well, didn't say that. I mean, I, I, she did. She thought it was pretty cool. We can't be sure. I did say that this <laughs> whole year was going to be about intention. And as I have uh, <clears throat> thought more about that, it's still, it, you know, yes. Um, but it's so strange to be able, sorry, rather to not be able to plan. Um, yeah. And I, I always consider myself to be such a, like a free moving individual. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I don't need that. But you do. You need something to adhere to. Even if it isn't super astringent, you do, you do need a space that feels like, okay, this is where this happens and now the thing. And it's, it's hard to imagine. I think I'm really, uh, I'm really struggling with the loss of my mom. Um, mm -hmm. My mother has stage six Alzheimer's and I am uh, not dealing with that very well. It is, it is really, truly something to have such an elongated goodbye. Um, mm. And she is a powerhouse, my first friend, my first superhero. Um, so to see her completely out of her depth uh, is a, is um, disemboweling at times. And it's just, mm. it's just my sister and I. So, um, you know, it's, it's been, it's been a lot. I think that individual is one thing that on top of a pandemic goes a mother that in addition to having a mess, like, bleh. so mm. that's where I'm at. 2020, just get out, just pull over. Let's call an Uber. We don't have to talk about it. We don't have 2020, to. Just pull. Just, it's okay. I know you didn't mean what you said. It's oh, fine. Oh. Yeah. 2020, so you know what we're going to do? Not tonight. Tonight, we're just going to get you out of the car. <laughs> but tomorrow morning, we're going to get you some help. We're, we're going to get, get you, you some help. so much help. We're going to get you just in, with the right, with the right people who know what you're going through, people who've been through what you've gone through, and we're going to get you where you don't need to do this anymore. You and 2020 is like, do. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I can do it. I got it, 20. I got it. Don't tell me what to do. That's 2020. <laughs> 2020 is like, I drink because you cry. Yeah. yeah. 2020 is the, okay, so we're in Target, right? A couple days before Christmas, and you see that mom in there who is really trying to just like be cool and get to the checkout. And both of her children have now started screaming at the ground. They're covered in chocolate pudding, you know, <laughs> and they're just yelling. And the mom is like, okay, okay. And then out of all the onlookers, all the onlookers is the rest of the world. The kids are America. <laughs> so, so for me, uh, you know, we need to, somebody needs a timeout. Uh, oh. That uh, we need a fruit snack and we need some Benadryl. <laughs>
I've had enough of this shit. This is, I have had it. Had it. <laughs> and then the baby who's in the cart just takes the bottle of bleach yeah. and drops it on the floor at the checkout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the two-year-old just starts eating that. That's exactly right. <laughs> and the mom, the lady says, did you find everything you were looking for today? <laughs> That's Europe. <laughs> Europe is the check stand. So, and Switzerland is behind us like, <laughs> This Switzerland's Mm-mm. always like, that Switzerland's always face though. For real. For real. For real, right? Do you Which, also- By the way, Switzerland, you got, you got some nerve having that <laughs> Just saying, let's not bring it up, but- um, you know, you've done some worse stuff than spill bleach on the floor. I'm just, you know, you know. <laughs> you're, just, I mean, you're, you're in a hole. I mean, you're, you're dying. You're falling apart. And the lady at the home goods is like, D, do you have everything? I'm like, I want 78 candles and two spoons. I don't need any of this. What's wrong with you, Deb? You know? And, and don't you feel like we're... The person behind them in the line <laughs> who just who just came to buy tampons. <laughs> That's all all I wanted was some orange juice. And now we've hazmatted the place. Now I can't go home and I gotta quarantine because your babies brought poop into the target and we thought it was pudding. Like we can't twenty two we gotta stop. You gotta be aware of the twenty twenty shit. So uh yeah, oh, I mean, twenty twenty. We're gonna look back. We're gonna look back next week when it's next year, and we're gonna we're gonna look at each other, j- just just like this, and be like, "Whoo, that was oh, that was really something." I feel like there are like I feel, when I asked you what your what your most flaming garbage can of a year was, I feel like we've all had years or moments or or seasons of our lives where you your just face gets ground right up against the power sander. Um, that is, <laughs> that is, that is, that is there to... <laughs> you say you, you put on the Liz voice, the one that tells you you're going to be okay and make magic. You put that on. So I thought you were getting ready. You know, you go through and then you drop us the, the life lessons. I come in with the horse shit and then you're like, you know what, everyone, it's going to be okay. This is Liz. Our trap. You know, but then you changed it. And I thought that was funny. <laughs> but we all have that where they have that year where like where you finally have to realize that you're not in control like you absolutely no matter how willful you are no matter how stubborn you are no matter how proud you are no matter how strong you are like you just have to break like it has to break you because it has to teach you that you're not fucking driving this thing you are not in control you are not in control of this world yeah. but the really weird thing about 2020 is we are all getting that lesson at the same time like the whole planet that's it that's it so and, and, the and, whole and, planet and, yeah, is like that's right what 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 what, what? Yeah, you know yeah, like right, and right. there's nobody who's not who's stable <laughs> <laughs> during it it's just um anyway but i i think that's i think that's exactly right i remember i was talking to uh my therapist and i said it for once feels like I'm not the only one that pooped in the pool. Like right. for once, <laughs> it feels like everyone else also did. And no, so your, the pool itself pooped. <laughs> <laughs> we were all just swimming. <laughs> and I was like, is that a milk dad? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, and, and you know, and I was thinking today, I was we're doing some writing this morning, just kind of trying to like ease into whatever the hell it was going to be. And I said, you know, if you can't, if we, if we are so good at writing our stories about the things that we don't deserve, if we are so good at self-fulfilling the prophecies that are not for us, that, that our trauma makes and things like that, then how come we cannot manifest our success and our contentment? And my hope my hope is that I can, I can allow myself some forgiveness for the days that aren't so good. And then I also can allow myself the space to, to make it beautiful, to, to try to get there. So that, that's, that's kind of where I've been at. What about you? What was your shit year? 2002. Okay. Oh, you yeah, 2002 was really, okay. was really bad. That was really bad. I've never had a lower bottom than that. 
You know, okay. not even not even Raya dying, not even Raya dying, um, because I didn't have any tools. Um, you know, I was I was going through it, but I didn't have God. I didn't. I, and by God, I mean my own higher. I didn't. I hadn't found. I had no spiritual connection to anything. Yeah. Um. And 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 I, I understand a lot of people get hives when you say the word God, and I just don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I Not sure. Whatever God. Whatever God you don't believe in, I don't believe in that one either. <laughs> so like, to hell with it. Like, like you said, we're good, you know. But um, I didn't have. I didn't have that. I had never been to therapy. I didn't know why. I didn't, I just did. I'd been, I didn't know how to take care of myself. I didn't yeah. know how to say no to anybody. I didn't know how to comfort myself. I had no tools for self comfort. None. Yeah. That's like the the biggest change between then and now. Um, yeah, and for sure. that I have like a, a safety net under me that that's been woven over the years of, of, um, wisdom from that I've borrowed from lots of different traditions, my own deep innate trust in divinity and my own inner kindness to myself and not being afraid to ask for help, all these things. Like, so I just, I can't get, there's a, like a level I can't get below now anymore. Sure. Um, sure. But back then it was a, it was a free fall. <laughs> and I, I guess I had to weave that net as I was falling, like grabbing yeah. little pieces along the way. Um, sure. So, so like even, even walking through, Raya's death and even even walking through the addiction that she returned to before before she died, which was just a, the, an absolute nightmare. Um, you know, not even that was as bad as as free falling with no faith. Sure. Um, you know, like now I just have this like I really do believe in something and I don't yeah. necessarily know. Um, it doesn't mean that I understand it. Sure. It means that I don't have to understand it. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, fair. Um, that's fair. That's that's how I see it. It's like I wasn't ever meant to understand it. I think in 2002, I still thought I was supposed to understand stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which now makes me literally slap my leg and laugh. A hundred percent. I mean, yeah. I don't even say like it's all for the best. That's even no. that is for, pretending to understand. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I but, but I have a feeling. I feel something in me connected to something that isn't me, that is also yeah. me. And that yeah. makes me be able to walk through my days a lot better. So I'm here for that. Um, yeah. I like and then that. What's yeah. going to happen happens, you know? Yeah. Um, mm. So. Yeah, I feel that. I, I mean, I think I was, I was talking to um, a, 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 a group about grieving, um, uh, partners or loved ones with dementia and Alzheimer's and it has been um, really interesting to explore how grief kind of comes and goes in waves <clears throat> and just kind of thinking about uh, giving yourself the permission to to get through that on a moment to moment basis and I think a lot of people are experiencing that today like in just our everyday trying to get through. I mean, I'm sure any one person could deal with one thing, but to have that then eclipsed atop underneath, you know, consistent and evervescent, it, it, it's tough. It, it takes you out and you have to, we have to just try and uh, parse through what we can handle. Um, but I, I was saying this morning in my gratitude, I was saying that what I have come to love about this year <clears throat> is seeing the return of people to one another. Mm. And I think that for me, seeing people return to giving themselves the attention they give a celebrity, giving themselves that mm. attention and that peace and, and stopping to ask someone how they're doing, like if it was for nothing else, if we are learning to then reevaluate our currency, our agency as human beings in our, in our hearts, it's, it's massive. And that is, that is one place where I can find light and the other has been this, has been the Teller community. These folks have literally lifted me out of some of the darkest places because they just want to be there. They just want to write, they want to talk, they want to create. And it's a gorgeous thing to see people investing in trying to find their why, find what their story is, you know, excited to get to the next chapter. And if they don't have one, they could cheer somebody else on. And, and, and that is a blessing because we have been halted. We all have been stopped collectively. Like, look, 
listen, this is where we are. Like, what are you going to do with your one precious and wild life? Like, what are you going to do with it? So I have, I have been trying to lean uh, further in that direction and not take myself so far the other way. And then when I, uh, then when I don't have anything else to say, I'll just text you and you send back something ridiculous. And, uh, <laughs> um, and that's, that's also really helpful. So those are things that I find. I feel really like good. with the teller, with the teller community, um, isn't it weird how, what form self-help can take? Like you didn't know why you needed to create this. Um, like you thought you were doing one thing, right? Yeah. You were following yeah. your intuition, like something in your intuition, your imagination, your creativity said, I've got this idea. I don't know where it came from, but I've got this idea. Yeah. I'm going to start this community and we're all going to go to Puerto Rico in April of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna, and it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna have all these great corporate sponsors. And let me, let me show you what 2020 was like. <laughs> 2020 laughed so hard the beer came out its nose, right? Um, 2020 said, "Hold my beer." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, make that plan. Go ahead, make that plan. Good idea, you know, guys. But, but you were you you didn't. This is why this is where my faith comes in. Of like something something came to you and said, do this thing. And you, this is what we do. An idea comes and we go, Oh, I get it. It's this. And then you go off and you try to make it. And the world's like, uh, uh it's not that, yeah. you know, it's yeah. this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like what, like when I look at what you did, I feel like you built the ark before the flood, you know, like you created this community. <laughs> That's <so funny. laughs> you did. You created this. <laughs> it's terrible. But you created this community and then the flood came and then yeah. the, that's your boat that's getting you through the flood. Are and, we are, saying and, in, and in the this, rest of everybody too. Are we saying in this metaphor in all seriousness that the boat doesn't have any holes? Or <laughs> what are your and, and is the water choppy? Is it a, a calm? Is like is it a lagoon? <laughs> oh, or... I think we know what the water is. <laughs> A little bit choppy. It's a little bit choppy. Just a it's tiny a good chop. Boat. Yeah, it is a good boat. boat. Yes, you know, yes. It's a good yes. boat. It's made of all this, all these people and their and their their love for one another, and it's just yeah. so good. Yeah, so yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I think you're right, Joanna. I think I might also be a comedian. Um, I think she's right. Uh, <laughs> Liz and I are doing a thing, y'all, with our good buddy Jen Pastelaw. And there is a link in my bio. I think we'll, I can put it in the teller bio too. You should definitely go and check that out. Um, it's supporting black bookstores. It's supporting just the continuous movement of this work of staying connected. So go and check that out. Don't forget to look at that. Um, I, Liz is doing your, your first, when is your first session, Liz? It's this weekend. It's Sunday, uh, right? It's Sunday. It's Sunday, yeah. Sunday at mm -hmm. 2. Uh, mm -hmm. Sunday at 2 Eastern time. And, and you guys, if, if any of you have ever, um, I don't want to assume you have, but if, if any of you have ever wanted to take my creativity workshop that I teach and you're like, I don't live in that city where it's going to be and I don't have yeah. that kind of money, I'm actually going to be teaching a, a, um, a piece of it on, the, on this. And um, there are scholarships. There are different levels of pricing. It's really, really reasonably priced. It's going to be um, a whole day of um, thanks. I love the hair too. Thank you. <laughs> And then, you know, what? I just want to tell you guys all like, enjoy it now because it will never look like this again. Yeah, the lady just made it. The lady just made it look like this. You have and to text me a photo of your bed. I can't tomorrow. do that. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. do that. Um, so anyway, it's going to be great. So um, it's going to be, uh, th there's three workshops. Is yours is the third week? Yes. On the mine? second, August 2nd. Yeah, yeah that's right. And, and, um, uh, and yeah. yeah, it's going to be yoga and music and, and, um, I, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. So yeah. um, check it out okay. and, and go to Jen Pasloff's page. She's got all the details on yeah. it. And um, yeah, come and, and join we, us. And we, we want to see you there. Like uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be on the session. I'll be participating in the session. I'll be going to Liz, Liz and, and Jen's first session. And then um, the following on the second, uh, I am joined by Kevin McKidd, who is Owen from Grey's Anatomy. So I put up on my page that I joined the cast and a lot of people stopped <laughs> reading after that first line and started congratulating me and shit. And I just want to say publicly, <clears throat> I am not on the cast. If anybody is watching, I am interested. <laughs> I have a doctor's jacket and I'm ready to go. I'm cardiothoracic. <laughs> I can do it. 
But uh, we're going to go. We're going to write. Kevin's going to do some amazing music. So we'll be with Jen on August 2nd. The link is in my bio. The link is in uh, Jen Pasteloff's bio. We'll be sure to put it up in the story too. But come, y'all. Like, I, I, know, I know it is a constant shift. I know everything gets planned and then, and then you got to just make changes. But this is where we are. We, we have the obligation and the opportunity to stretch and to grow. And so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to stay with you the whole time while we're doing it. And Liz and I, no doubt, will be making terrible jokes uh, with horrific puns while it's terrible. all happening. That border terrible. on, like, maybe, possibly, if you just said it an inch wrong, more wrong, like, career ending. <laughs> and we know that. We know that we're putting our careers on the line. Every but we're time not in we control live, of it. We're we not don't in know. control of it. It's okay. It's okay. We just get in the boat. I hope we don't you know, end up in I the pool. I don't know what I'm going to say ever. <laughs> mm. I don't even ask her any questions anymore. We don't, like, we used to, like, chat before, like, hey, what should we talk about? Hey, what should go. we talk about? Mm -hmm. And within the first five minutes, she says something crazy. And today, it was eBay in Mexico. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> Liz is one-liners throughout this year. I'm going to put something together. I haven't figured it out yet how to do it. But wow, y'all. Wow. Um. So somebody, you're her favorite Instagram smile. I didn't Aww. even know that's a category. How come uh, well, I'm not in it? Well, you know, it's got to be hard to come in second on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Take a closer look at his your smile. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been perfect to have like a big old Chips Ahoy just right in here. Like, do you have anything in my teeth? Oh, no. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. Um, <laughs> is there anything we can do for y'all? Uh, you know, it's really hard to read all of your messages. But... Uh, well, I had, a, I had a little plan of something we could do. Oh, right now. you had a plan. I have a plan. I had a I'm thought. I'm 2020. I'm 2020. So um, you have a plan. Not, let's see what happens. Watch my, yeah. literally my roof falls on my head. <laughs> How funny. If this was a movie, that would be what would, exactly what would happen next. Eh? <laughs> and... <laughs> And I'd be like, cool. <laughs> oh, what, what was what was Liz Gilbert? What were Liz Gilbert's last words? I've got a plan. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's exactly and then right. a sinkhole opens up underneath my house, and I'm just taken down into it. Um, well, I'll tell you, it's a really wonderful thing that last night. You know Cheryl. You know my my best bud, Cheryl. Oh, twin. Um, I love her. We love we love twin. We do. Um, and she really is she really is my twin, a fellow super sensitive Cancerian. Um, I saw her last night, and uh, you know we were like on the edge of being sad, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but like we were just feeling like that sort of disorder that everyone is feeling right now, like yeah. Bee! And um, and then I said, let's read some Walt Whitman to each other, and um, we just passed. Song of a song of myself back and forth um, to each other and took turns reading stanzas of it. And I gotta tell you, man, like that is my desert island book. I've, I've always said that. Um, if, I feel that, it. that if and because, um, first of all, it's what else would you need? And secondly, um, you could occupy your time memorizing it. You could, you know, that's so and true. And it's long as hell, so you could memorize it and then. That could be how you use your infinity on a desert island is to memorize Whitman. And then it would be in you. Like it would just the whole thing. Do you That'd think that if we would be on a desert island and we, yeah. and we had half, half of our time was with Walt Whitman, do you think the other half could be like, I could teach you how to do the Cupid shuffle? You know, <laughs> <laughs> we could do group dances uh -huh. you know, and then go back. You know, cause you can't just spend the whole time reading. We can't, I mean, come on. Like, right. We, we, it's hot. So you it's think hot. it's like a, you think it's a fair, even half and half kind of situation there that that would be, that would be like an, an emotionally, physically and spiritually healthy way for us. Should we spend some of our time building shelter? <laughs> or is it why just going to be? Why you always have to do that? Why do you always have to come in with the stuff? You know, like you can't just <laughs> let me be me. No, I think that we dance half the time and the rest of the time we read. Whoa, we'll figure it out. Hide under a palm tree, Liz. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. God. You know what? You, know what? you, you guys, know. this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Prudy, don't listen to her. Yeah, naked mm. and afraid. Yeah, yeah. I'm so new to poetry, <laughs> but I do love Walt Whitman. He's pretty great. You know, Walt Whitman was the first hipster, Liz? Like, he was, he was it. Boy, Urban he Outfitters. 
Yo. Oh my God, his look was so good. Floppy hat, he didn't tie his boots and his pants didn't quite fit. It was so good, he had yeah. such a good look. And you know what he did during the Civil War was that he spent all his days at the, at the hospital, Union Hospital in Washington, D.C., yeah. taking care of dying young men with their limbs cut off every single day. Um, and, and the people who he nursed said, like, never was there a kinder, a kinder mm. face to look up to. And say, can you imagine, like, you're, you're scared and far from home and really and sick and dying in, in 19th century field hospital. And you look up and the face you see is Walt Whitman. Man, that'd be so <laughs> and he's legit. just going to sit with you and talk with you. Like, I mean, that'd be tight. I mean, that would be pretty. That would be pretty good. That's our guy. That's our guy. We yeah, love that guy. We do. We love him. All right. So what are we thinking? You want to. Let's just read a little of it. Yeah. Where um, we, well, my wanna... favorite stanza. I mean, we could do favorite stanza or we could um, just do like uh, start from the beginning. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, <laughs> All of a sudden, the viewership goes to negative two. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm watching them. They just all here read to each other. They're like, you can go wrong. You can go wrong. <laughs> Keep making swimming pool poop jokes. <laughs> Stop talking about women. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, you, I, I don't know where my fit. Oh, I got my favorite part. I got it. Okay, go, go do it. I'm first? Yeah. We don't have to do it in order. He wouldn't mind. <sighs> he wouldn't. <clears throat> What if your favorite part is my favorite part? You're going you're leaving. I think the odds are. I like think the odds the... are. Oh, okay, sweet. My sister's. Uh, I think my... the odds are. Are they leaving? Because she's like, I fucking hate Whitman. I'm out here. Like, <laughs> she she does hate all of that. Like I was singing her <laughs> Hamilton this morning, and she was like, "If you don't stop, I'm gonna go." And I was like, "Okay, that's fair." Yeah, she's a she's, she's a, a di- she's, she's a, a dream Dickinson snatcher. Fan. She's a dream snatcher and a dream killer. <laughs> And she's dead inside because in here is just like dusty. So dusty. for those of you who just joined us, Azure Antoinette and I are going to read our favorite passages from Walt Whitman, Song of Myself. Um, this... And we don't know what the other one is reading. And I think there's an excellent, excellent chance that our favorite passage is going to be the same one. But you go right on ahead. This was um, the first, the first, uh, piece of poetry that I memorized <clears throat> after uh, leaving human resources for the time. And um, it really stuck with me and the, the, the organization I worked for, the, the, the woman that ran it just love, love, love Walt. And, um, you know, so it, 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 it stayed with me and, and I, have, I have grown to love it as well. Uh, so here it goes. Has anyone supposed it's lucky to be born? <laughs> well, I hasten to inform him or her that it is just as lucky to die, and I know it. I pass death with the dying and birth with a new wash babe, and I'm not contained between my hat and my boots. And peruse manifold objects, no two alike, and every one good, the earth good, the stars good, and their adjuncts, all good. I am not an earth nor an adjunct of the earth. I am the mate and companion of people all just as immortal and fathomless as myself. They, they do not know how immortal I do. Every kind for itself and its own, for my male and female, for me, those that have been boys that love women, for the man that is proud and feels how it stings to be slighted, for me, the sweetheart and the old maid, for me, mothers and the mothers of mothers, for me, lips that have smiled, eyes that have shed tears, for me, children, and the begetters of children. Undrape, you are not guilty to me, nor stale, nor discarded. I see through the broadcloth and gingham, whether no and around, tenacious, acquisitive, tireless, and cannot be shaken away. Can you just repeat that line um, about it's even luckier to die? Oh, it's my favorite part too. Has anyone supposed it's lucky to be born? I hasten to inform him or her that it is just as lucky to die, and I know it. <sighs> Woo! Love that guy. I know. And he knew what he was talking about because he, because he was a mystic, mm. and he'd seen the other side, and so nothing was outside of the realm of beauty for him. Mm. You can't sit in a Civil War hospital with dying soldiers 
and be love mm. Mm. unless you know something. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> um, okay, this is my favorite stanza, number four. Okay, okay, from, okay. From Song of Myself. Trippers and askers surround me. People I meet, the effect upon me of my early life or the ward and city I live in or the nation. The latest dates, discoveries, inventions, societies, authors, old and new. My dinner, dress, associates, looks, compliments, dues. The real or fancied indifference of some man or woman I love. The sickness of one of my folks or of myself. Or ill-doing or loss or lack of money or depression or exaltations. Battles. The horrors of fratricidal war. The fever of doubtful news. The fitful events. These come to me days and nights, and go from me again. But they are not the me myself. Hmm. Apart from the pulling and the hauling stands what I am. Stands amused, complacent, compassionating, idle, unitary. Looks down, is erect or bends an arm on an implacable certain rest. Looking with side-curved head, curious what will come next, both in and out of the game and watching and wondering at it. Backward, I see my own days where I sweated through fog with linguists and contenders. I have no mocking or arguments. I witness and wait. He's so, he's such a G. <laughs> he is he, such a G. He is such a G. Man. Y'all, like, take it in just if something speaks to you just just have it just possess it we are in a time that is a confluence of of every trauma we've had of everything we haven't survived of every place we've failed and our potential our potential to be human and kind and great and it's not easy None of this is easy, no matter who you are, no matter how much you have and how much you lack, the struggle is universal. And so as we are traversing this time of trying to figure out what the day looks like, just embrace the fact that we have the day. We have the day, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, it's not even close, but we have it. So I know, I know that I, I lean on words that aren't mine because it allows me to stop feeling so much myself for a moment. I lean on the Harlem Renaissance. I lean on my favorite passages of the Bible just because it's a beautiful book, not, not, the, not all of the stuff that comes with it. I lean on things that, that I've read from Liz. I lean on, on favorite authors of mine that have passed. And sometimes that's enough. Sometimes it's beautiful. Savannah gave me a book, uh, Yoga, for people who can't be bothered to do it. And it is so beautiful. Liz, you would dig it. You would dig it. I know like, this book. What's that guy's name? Jeff Dyer. It's such a good book. Yeah, and I didn't really he expect to a, care. I didn't think I'd he's care. He's such a, he's a real, yeah, he's a great writer. It's a great Yes, book. yes. And so yeah. it's, it's just find things, y'all. Like whatever, like it's, it, it, and change your mind as much as you want. I mean, this is who we are. This is who we are, this is where we are, and just understanding your humanness, understanding how that's part of, that's part of the process too. So we, we, will, we will remain, we will sustain, but let us, let us be able to look back and see that in this time, we were kind to ourselves and we were kind to others. When you think about all of the things that you read that, that have, have transpired, that have been massive and global. You, you sometimes, I sometimes think, I wonder what I would have done in that situation. If you ever were waiting for the moment to find out who you were and, and what your currency was and what you did with your precious wild life and your agency, you're here right now. And if you can't fix yourself, help someone else. That will be such a gift. Um, I'm so grateful, Liz, that you introduced us to Simone. It has been so gorgeous. It has been so beautiful just to be able to do something simple and know that that lifted someone's spirits and touched their heart. And just stay present, y'all. Just be here. Just, just do that. And that is, that's all we got. 
that's that's all we can say um i don't know liz i don't know if you have anything to add i wouldn't even step on that what you just said yeah um we're gonna put some more prompts up y'all really like those and uh the writing is helpful it's really good it's really good and it's good to see all of you it's good to see you continuing to try um it's good to see you continuing to show up and um we'll we'll get through it we will get on the other side of this we will let's let's do it properly let's do it so so we can tell our loved ones so we can write this this book together let's let's do the right thing y'all um we have a lot of work to do still but for today just take on just take on what you can carry and if you need some help ask there's so many people that want to just jump in and do that and if you have the arms help somebody else we'll get through it meet one another yes. meet one another i mean this is something god i always do this whenever i teach you remember when people used to be in rooms together but i used to do this thing when we, <laughs> when we could be in rooms together <laughs> called teaching workshops <laughs> what and, um i know it's <laughs> weird it's so weird so archaic and one of the things i used to um used to really beg of people who came to these workshops alone, you know, to do, give themselves this gift was like, meet the people in this room because when is the next time that you're going to be in a room with this many like-minded people, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, especially if, if loneliness is plaguing you um, and, and a sense of separation is plaguing you. These are, these are your people. Like, and, and I can guarantee you guys, um, everyone who's texting on here, whether or not you know them, these are your, these are your, these are your people. Um, like if they're hanging out with me and Azure, then <laughs> you want to hang out with them. <laughs> if they lasted this long into the phone call, you want to, you want to hang out with them. So, so like catch each other's, you know, details and names and emails and reach out and just, there's like a, there's always that speed bump of meeting someone where you're like, do we have anything in common? You can skip right over that because you do, you do because you're part of this community and, um, and, you know, just say, I'm, I'm here. I'd love to meet you. You know, yeah. um, it's and like, I, I need, I need to talk to somebody. I want to, I want somebody, I want to read someone's writing. I want to know, like, I want, there's this poem by my favorite other, my favorite, my favorite 20th century poet, Jack Gilbert. Um, after his, his wife died, he wrote one of his simplest poems was about how he went back to Greece to live in a shepherd's um, cabin on the top of a woods, in the top of the mountains and just, just be with his grief and and her name was Michiko his wife and and um he has a poem that I make it slightly wrong but it's very simple but he said some nights <laughs> don't even you know I'm not good with words <laughs> his poem began there once was a woman from Boston no, wait, that's something else. No, his poem, his, his, poem, his poem about grief was, some nights grief was like this. I would get up in the middle of the night, go to the well and pull on the rope just to feel something pulling back on the other side. Hmm. You know, like the weight of the water in the bucket, just to pull, feel resistance, to feel like something was with you, right? Um, you know, this, these are times when like you can reach out to each other like that, just because you want to feel that there's something on the other side. So don't be shy. Um, <laughs> reach out to one another. These Somebody are our said, freaks. Somebody was the, like, you can't spell. <laughs> I know. Poor you guys, thing. thanks to, thanks to these conversations with the jury, you guys know a lot more about me now than you did from watching my Ted talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, also, um, when I think about, uh, whenever I meet someone new, I always, a song always comes to my mind. It's usually like, oh, I used to sing jazz standards in college. And um, yeah, what? we can read. Yeah? What just, why don't I know this? And why haven't I heard you sing jazz standards? But that's parens. I on. haven't, I haven't even like seen you in like, I don't know, seven and a half years. I know it was December, but you know what I meant. So, um, so I, I, I loved, I loved just meeting someone and then like something would come through, you know? And, but when I think about this community, when I think about Teller, I knew you were going to start Joanna. No, the answer, no, no, don't be, don't be weird. You guys, I'll turn off the comments. And uh, is, I think it was Whitman. He says, you were there. I forget the rest. Like we were together. Aww. You were, you were there. We were together. 
I forget the rest. And that is, that's it. Like, mm. and, and that's what I think about. That's oh, what I think about. That just got me. <laughs> yeah, you know, like it's, um, yeah. I, uh, we're, we're with you. I wish I, I wish I even knew what to say, y'all. But I, we need you just as much. And, um, you know, reach out to each other, check on each other. Uh, this is this is tough and showing up in a lot of ways, but there is there is so much light, there is so much growth, and in those spaces where you can't, it doesn't feel tangible. Like the memory, the memory of laughter, the memory of these things is is um, it's a lifeboat. It really is. So, like we're here for you. We feel it, uh, Liz. They really want you to come to South Africa, so I'm gonna need you to go ahead and let them know. I love that they act like I don't want to, or <laughs> or that I could. <laughs> and right now, I'm yeah. like, hey, can we? Like, can you not? Yeah. Have you guys noticed? Um, <laughs> I, was, I mean, a hundred percent. The the minute the minute I get a chance to leave. New Jersey, I'd be delighted to come to South Africa, but for now, we're just going to be here. We're, we're just going to be here. We're going to be here, y'all. And, um, and that's apparently what's wanted. It's apparently what's wanted because it's what's that's happening. True. So That's true. Um, so um, I'm not in an argument against it. Um, I love my, my teacher, Byron Katie, always says, whenever I argue against reality, I lose, but only always. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, we started laughing in the same tone. Did you hear that? It was very Ursula from uh, Little Mermaid. <laughs> What's wrong with us? But Something's only wrong. always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever watched someone on live have a nervous breakdown? Us. <laughs> Where is that? I can't know. Oh, man. Um, uh... Listen, y'all. We'll be here. Uh, we will we will put up some more prompts. Uh, we'll keep you updated. And with, with everything in our being, like we want to, to be there to support you. But what, what is going to be even better than that is you supporting each other. And um, it's, it's good. This is going to be good. We're, we, are, we are going to get to the other side, y'all. So do not grow weary in your well-doing. Do not lose hope. Do not grow faint of heart. Um, be kind, be well, right on. Do all of those things. Um, and we're here. We're looking and out we for you, you. And we do. We love you very much. But only always. But only always. Only always. All right. <laughs> LG. As far as we go. Yes. That's as far enough. as we go. That's it. Not a minute later. Hey, as I always your say, birthday is coming. Always... Uh, yes, it is this weekend. I always say to Azure, "You're doomed to be loved by me." <laughs> she does. She says, "She says this she's a large You're language." Doomed. She was like, "There's actually nothing you can do ever," and I'm like, "Wow, I should give it a go. I should try yeah, it. Try me. Yeah, it's all enough. just a love contest, and I always win." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prudy, we love you too, sweetheart. Um, okay, well, we will we'll keep you posted. Come on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You're gonna give poor Jen a heart attack if y'all don't register. Liz will be there. I'll be in the comments cutting up. Don't worry. And then <laughs> mine is on August 2nd. Liz will be there. She probably will have taken down the entire network trying to hop on and just join in. But those are the things that you can do. Also, last thing, Tellers, Tuesdays, we are going to start shouting out Black-owned businesses because we still have work to do. So I'm going to be on either Teller or my page, one or both. Um, go do the thing. We need $1. We need you to send one dollar if all of you did that if our teller community did that we could smash some of this stuff so we got this we got this we're going to keep working we're going to keep helping we're going to keep listening and we're going to keep writing y'all we're going to do that we're going to do it and we got it and we're in this together all right we love you love you too bye azure bye this <laughs>